We're here today in North Kingston, Rhode Island at Quonset Point Airport with the National Hurricane Center and also with the Hurricane Hunter. It's a great event. It's an opportunity for people to have some education before hurricane season comes into full swing. An event like this brings us all together, federal, state, local partners, and we bring the media here together. We all talk about the hurricane season. This is how we get ready face to face. New England, uh, we've seen dangerous storms in the past. Uh, we don't get the frequency intensity that you may see in Florida and Texas. We want you to be aware that uh, it can't happen today and it only takes one hurricane to uh, ruin your day. So again, we want you to be aware and take actions now uh, while you have time. Public outreach is extremely important to our mission. Our whole goal is to increase our hurricane forecast to make the public aware of the hazards associated with the storms and hopefully encourage them to evacuate. What an opportunity here today to be able to meet the people behind the scenes that, that make the whole hurricane program work from the data collection, right? The planes behind us, the NOAA P3 and the C-130 from the Air Force, the hurricane hunters to come out here and for the kids to meet the hurricane hunters and also meet the people from the Hurricane Center and other federal agencies. All this work behind the scenes means that we keep people safe when the hurricane nears. So the NOAA Aircraft Operations Center works with the Hurricane Research Division and the National Hurricane Center to not only track the hurricanes, which is the primary mission of the 53rd Air Force Reserve Squadron, but our mission is to execute research projects on those hurricanes. We on a federal level can go to any disaster in the country, so if we needed to take this platform and drive down to Texas, we could do that or if we needed to put it on a plane and go to somewhere like Puerto Rico, we could do that as well. Heed those warnings for the National Hurricane Forecast Center. Uh, we do a lot of work to uh, get the best information to the public to be able to create those forecasts and make those warnings. So pay attention to your National Weather Service offices and, and get those warnings, uh, heed them, evacuate early if possible, and always have a plan. The event that's here today is important because it really gives a, a baseline of education for people to understand all the efforts that take place on the federal, state, and local government side to be prepared if a storm were to occur. 